Good morning, it's Wednesday the 10th of November. Trust that you're ready for coffee with God this morning. In your Bibles, 1 Peter chapter 5, we were there yesterday, but we're going to go a little bit ahead, a little bit before where we read yesterday, 1 Peter 5, 1 Peter 5. We pay a lekker kopje koffie, hier is koffie met God. Amazing cup. 1 Peter 5, from verse 5. Um, you younger men likewise be subject to your elders and all of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another for God is opposed to the proud but gives grace to the humble therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you at the proper time Casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. The thought this morning is it's in our humility, in our humbleness, that we receive God's grace. Two things. Remember yesterday I said to you that God's grace, the God of all grace, will confirm and perfect and establish and equip us remember that that god's grace is the power to live the the ability to do so it's a two-edged sword grace and humility what does it mean to be humble and to humble ourselves not only amongst one another be subject you younger men likewise be subject to your elders and all of you clothe yourselves with humility towards one another in other words we need to be humbly submitted to God's mission, God's purpose, God's plan for our lives, and that every day. So as you and as I humble ourselves, in other words, we place ourselves under God's call, God's purpose, God's direction for our lives in this day. If we go into this day wondering in humility how it is God is going to use us. Now, (laughs) I'm sorry I'm making this point so belabored or I'm I'm laboring this point. Um, Humility is not doormat. Humility is not being worthless and useless and and lowering yourself. Humility is just knowing that it's not about you. It's about God in you. So, So to humble myself is to believe and trust and obey. Believe and trust and obey. God's word, not um, what I think, what I reason, what I feel, or what I desire. Let me me give you an example. David um, is a young boy, and so much so that when the prophet comes to anoint the next king, his father doesn't even invite him. And Eliab and all the older sons get called before the prophet. And the prophet says, not him, not him, not him. And when he reaches the end, he says, don't you have anyone else? Oh, well, there's David. David is a, watching the sheep. He's a shepherd boy. He's the youngest. He's not even invited to this party. And David gets anointed. David pitches up a couple of years later when Israel are busy facing the Philistines and the giant Goliath has been taunting the army of Israel for 40 days and nights calling them out to send their their champion out to fight him and everybody in the whole army of israel is too scared to go and face goliath david asks this question how can this philistine dog taunt the armies of the living god That sounds arrogant. It's a young little boy talking to seasoned soldiers saying, why don't one of you go fight him? What's wrong with you? I'll go fight him. Now that sounds at the outset to be arrogant, to be proud, to to believe, oh, I can do this. You guys can't. I can do it. But no, it's humility because his approach, his approach to life and his approach to everything that he does is, hey, This guy's not taking us on. He's taking our God on. 
He's mocking our God. And, and God's not going to allow that. In humility, I'm going to submit to what God wants to do. And God wants to get rid of this giant. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. To the world, that might look like arrogance. Because as Christians, as we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, we are the ones who have the wisdom, who have the ability, who have the power, who have the strength, who have the know-how to stand up and be the change makers, to be the difference makers, to be the opinion setters. Come on, Christians. We're, we're not in the shadows. We're the light. We're the light. We're the salt. We're the ones who to step forward, to go out, to say, hey, my God, here's the answer. Jesus is the answer. This is the answer to what we're facing today. I'm sorry you guys are worried about the economy, but my God is able to. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you. <laughs> what happened to David? He goes before the king and he says, hey, king, you're the one who's supposed to be fighting. But don't worry. God has called me to do this, so I will do it. That's humility. God has called me. I'm a, if I stop and think about it, if I stop and reason, if I stop and, and, I, and, I, and I rationalize, then I'm a young boy who's got absolutely no fighting ability. I, there's no ways I can take on the seasoned soldier. In fact, Saul gives him his armor and it doesn't fit. Because again, what is Saul thinking? Saul's thinking, I'm king. I'm head and shoulders above everybody else. I'm the kingly person. I'm the kingly representative. I'm the person who wears the armor fits and, and in my armor and with my sword and with my ability and with, that's arrogant. Humbly, humbly submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. David, you're going to go fight Goliath with a, a stone and a sling? He's got armor. He's got a, a spear. He's got a sword. He's got a shield. You're going to fight him with a sling and a stone? Uh, I'm not going to fight him. God's going to fight him through me. That he may exalt you at the proper time, casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Don't be anxious for what you have to face today. Don't worry about the, the Goliaths that are on your agenda today. Submit yourself to God. Allow God to exalt you. Allow God. Listen again. <laughs> he is opposed. Verse 5. God is opposed to the proud. What does it mean to be proud? It's to be sufficient in your own ability. Om te dink ek kan hierdie hanteer. Ek self, ek, is die een, dis trots. Ek kan dit doen. Maar om nederig te wees, is om te sê, God kan dit doen, dier my. Ek gaan hier hier eerst dood maak vandag, want God is in my, en God wil hee, ek moet hier hier eerst vandag dood maak. Dis om nederig te wees. Morgen gaan ons nog bykie hier oor gesels. But what's amazing, I hope you see it in verse 5, God is opposed to the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Remember we said yesterday, grace is not just salvation. Grace is not just forgiveness. Grace is the power and the ability and the strength to do that which God calls you to do. So be humble today. Be humbly submitted under God. And let's submit to one another, with one another, as we come under what God wants us to do today. And go out. And be the giant slayer. That may look arrogant. That may look as if, sure, Sean, you think you're better than what you are. No, I'm not better than what I am. God in me is better than what I am. So let's go into today. Let me just tell you, talking about better, coffee is better than tea. But enjoy your tea. Enjoy even if it's rooibos. Uh, whatever blows your hair back. But have a good Wednesday with the Lord and may you receive his grace to the measure that you need it today. Live it out to his glory.